Day 15, Matthew 5, 1-4 through 4. Seeing the multitudes, he went up onto the mountain. When he had sat down, his disciples came to him. He opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Proverbs 15 A gentle answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. The tongue of the wise commends knowledge, but the mouth of fools gush out folly. Yahweh's eyes are everywhere, keeping watch on the evil and the good. A gentle tongue is a tree of life, but deceit in it crushes the spirit. A fool despises his father's correction, but he who heeds reproof shows prudence. In the house of the righteous is much treasure, but the income of the wicked brings trouble. The lips of the wise spread knowledge, not so with the heart of fools. The sacrifice made by the wicked is an abomination to Yahweh, but the prayer of the upright is his delight. The way of the wicked is an abomination to Yahweh, but he loves him who follows after righteousness. There is stern discipline for one who forsakes the way. Whoever hates reproof shall die. Sheol and Abaddon are before Yahweh. How much more, then, the hearts of the children of men? A scoffer doesn't love to be reproved. He will not go to the wise. A glad heart makes a cheerful face, but an aching heart breaks the spirit. The heart of one who has understanding seeks knowledge, but the mouths of fools feed on folly. All the days of the afflicted are wretched, but one who has a cheerful heart enjoys a continual feast. Better is little with the fear of Yahweh than great treasure with trouble. Better is a dinner of herbs where love is than a fattened calf with hatred. A wrathful man stirs up contention, but one who is slow to anger appeases strife. The way of the sluggard is like a thorn patch, but the path of the upright is a highway. A wise son makes a glad father, but a foolish man despises his mother. Folly is joy to one who is void of wisdom, but a man of understanding keeps his way straight. Where there is no counsel, plans fail. But in a multitude of counselors, they are established. Joy comes to a man with the reply of his mouth. How good is a word at the right time. The path of life leads upward for the wise to keep him from going downward to Sheol. Yahweh will uproot the house of the proud, but he will keep the widow's border intact. Yahweh detests the thoughts of the wicked, but the thoughts of the pure are pleasing. He who is greedy for gain troubles his own house, but he who hates bribes will live. The heart of the righteous weighs answers, but the mouth of the wicked gushes out evil. Yahweh is far from the wicked, but he hears the prayer of the righteous. The light of the eyes rejoices the heart. Good news gives health to the bones. The ear that listens to reproof lives and will be at home among the wise. He who refuses correction despises his own soul, but he who listens to reproof gets understanding. The fear of Yahweh teaches wisdom. Before honor is humility. Psalm 71 In you, Yahweh, I take refuge. Never let me be disappointed. Deliver me in your righteousness and rescue me. Turn your ear to me and save me. Be to me a rock of refuge to which I may always go. Give the command to save me, for you are my rock and my fortress. Rescue me, my God, from the hand of the wicked, from the hand of the unrighteous and cruel man. For you are my hope, Lord Yahweh, my confidence from my youth. I have relied on you from the womb. You are he who took me out of my mother's womb. I will always praise you. 
I am a marvel to many, but you are my strong refuge. My mouth shall be filled with your praise, with your honor all the day. Don't reject me in my old age. Don't forsake me when my strength fails. For my enemies talk about me. Those who watch for my soul conspire together, saying, God has forsaken him. Pursue and take him, for no one will rescue him. God, don't be far from me. My God, hurry to help me. Let my accusers be disappointed and consumed. Let them be covered with disgrace and scorn who want to harm me. But I will always hope and will add to all of your praise. My mouth will tell about your righteousness and of your salvation all day, though I don't know its full measure. I will come with the mighty acts of the Lord Yahweh. I will make mention of your righteousness, even of yours alone. God, you have taught me from my youth. Until now, I have declared your wondrous works. Yes, even when I am old and gray-haired, God, don't forsake me. Until I have declared your strength to the next generation, your might to everyone who is to come. Your righteousness also, God, reaches to the heavens. You have done great things. God, who is like you? You who have shown us many and bitter troubles. You will let me live. You will bring us up again from the depths of the earth. Increase my honor and comfort me again. I will also praise you with the harp for your faithfulness, my God. I sing praises to you with the lyre, Holy One of Israel. My lips shall shout for joy. My soul, which you have redeemed, sings praises to you. My tongue will also talk about your righteousness all day long, for they are disappointed and they are confounded who want to harm me. Psalm 72 God, give the king your justice, your righteousness to the royal son. He will judge your people with righteousness and your poor with justice. The mountains shall bring prosperity to the people. The hills bring the fruit of righteousness. He will judge the poor of the people. He will save the children of the needy and will break the oppressor in pieces. They shall fear you while the sun endures, and as long as the moon throughout all generations. He will come down like rain on the mown grass, as showers that water the earth. In his days the righteous shall flourish, and abundance of peace until the moon is no more. He shall have dominion also from sea to sea, from the river to the ends of the earth. Those who dwell in the wilderness shall bow before him. His enemies shall lick the dust. The kings of Tarshish and of the islands will bring tribute. The kings of Sheba and Seba shall offer gifts. Yes, all kings shall fall down before him. All nations shall serve him. For he will deliver the needy when he cries, the poor who has no helper. He will have pity on the poor and needy. He will save the souls of the needy. He will redeem their soul from oppression and violence. Their blood will be precious in his sight. They shall live, and to him shall be given the gold of Sheba. Men shall pray for him continually. They shall bless him all day long. Abundance of grain shall be throughout the land. Its fruit sways like Lebanon. Let it flourish, thriving like the grass of the field. His name endures forever. His name continues as long as the sun. Men shall be blessed by him. All nations will call him blessed. Praise be to Yahweh God, the God of Israel, who alone does marvelous deeds. Blessed be his glorious name forever. Let the whole earth be filled with his glory. Amen and amen. This ends the prayers by David, the son of Jesse. Psalm 73 Surely God is good to Israel, to those who are pure in heart. But as for me, my feet were almost gone. My steps had nearly slipped, for I was envious of the arrogant when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. For there are no struggles in their death, but their strength is firm. 
They are free from burdens of men, neither are they plagued like other men. Therefore pride is like a chain around their neck. Violence covers them like a garment. Their eyes bulge with fat, their minds pass the limits of conceit. They scoff and speak with malice. In arrogance they threaten oppression. They have set their mouth in the heavens. Their tongue walks through the earth. Therefore their people return to them and they drink up waters of abundance. They say, How does God know? Is there knowledge in the Most High? Behold, these are the wicked. Being always at ease, they increase in riches. Surely in vain I have cleansed my heart and washed my hands in innocence, for all day long I have been plagued and punished every morning. If I had said, I will speak thus, behold, I would have betrayed the generation of your children. When I tried to understand this, it was too painful for me, until I entered God's sanctuary and considered their latter end. Surely you set them in slippery places. You throw them down to destruction. How they are suddenly destroyed. They are completely swept away with terrors. As a dream when one wakes up. So, Lord, when you awake, you will despise their fantasies. For my soul was grieved. I was embittered in my heart. I was so senseless and ignorant. I was a brute beast before you. Nevertheless, I am continually with you. You have held my right hand. You will guide me with your counsel and afterward receive me to glory. Who do I have in heaven? There is no one on earth who I desire besides you. My flesh and my heart fails, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. For behold, those who are far from you shall perish. You have destroyed all those who are unfaithful to you. But it is good for me to come close to God. I have made the Lord Yahweh my refuge, that I may tell of all your works. Psalm 74 God, why have you rejected us forever? Why does your anger smolder against the sheep of your pasture? Remember your congregation which you purchased of old, which you have redeemed to be the tribe of your inheritance, Mount Zion, in which you have lived. Lift up your feet to the perpetual ruins, all the evil that the enemy has done in the sanctuary. Your adversaries have roared in the midst of your assembly. They have set up their standards as signs. They behaved like men wielding axes, cutting through a thicket of trees. Now they break all its carved work down with hatchet and hammers. They have burned your sanctuary to the ground. They have profaned the dwelling place of your name. They have said in their heart, We will crush them completely. They have burned up all the places in the land where God was worshipped. We see no miraculous signs. There is no longer any prophet. There is neither among us anyone who knows how long. How long, God, shall the adversary reproach? Shall the enemy blaspheme your name forever? Why do you draw back your hand, even your right hand? Take it out of your pocket and consume them. Yet God is my King of old, working salvation in the midst of the earth. You divided the sea by your strength. You broke the heads of the sea monsters in the waters. You broke the heads of Leviathan in pieces. You gave him as food to people and desert creatures. You opened up a spring and stream. You dried up many rivers. The day is yours. The night is also yours. You have prepared the light and the sun. You have set all the boundaries of the earth. You have made summer and winter. Remember this, that the enemy has mocked you, Yahweh. Foolish people have blasphemed your name. Don't deliver the soul of your dove to wild beasts. Don't forget the life of your poor forever. Honor your covenant, for haunts of violence fill the dark places of the earth. Don't let the oppressed return ashamed. Let the poor and needy praise your name. Arise, God, plead your own cause. Remember how the foolish man mocks you all day. 
Don't forget the voice of your adversaries. The tumult of those who rise up against you ascends continually. Psalm 75 We give thanks to you, God. We give thanks, for your name is near. Men tell about your wondrous works. When I choose the appointed time, I will judge blamelessly. The earth and all its inhabitants quake. I firmly hold its pillars. Selah. I said to the arrogant, don't boast. I said to the wicked, don't lift up the horn. Don't lift up your horn on high. Don't speak with a stiff neck. For neither from the east nor from the west nor yet from the south comes exaltation. But God is the judge. He puts down one and lifts up another. For in the hand of Yahweh there is a cup full of wine mixed with spices. He pours it out. Indeed, the wicked of the earth drink and drink it to its very dregs. But I will declare this forever. I will sing praises to the God of Jacob. I will cut off all the horns of the wicked, but the horns of the righteous shall be lifted up. John 15 I am the true vine, and my father is the farmer. Every branch in me that doesn't bear fruit, he takes away. Every branch that bears fruit, he prunes, that it may bear more fruit. You are already pruned clean because of the word which I have spoken to you. Remain in me, and I in you, as the branch can't bear fruit by itself unless it remains in the vine. So neither can you unless you remain in me. I am the vine. You are the branches. He who remains in me and I in him, the same bears much fruit, for apart from me you can do nothing. If a man doesn't remain in me, he is thrown out as a branch and is withered, and they gather them, throw them into the fire, and they are burned. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, you will ask whatever you desire, and it will be done for you. In this is my Father glorified, that you bear much fruit, and so you will be my disciples. Even as the Father has loved me, I also have loved you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, even as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have spoken these things to you, that my joy may remain in you, and that your joy may be made full. This is my commandment, that you love one another, even as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, that someone lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do whatever I command you. No longer do I call you servants, for the servant doesn't know what his Lord does. But I have called you friends, for everything that I heard from my Father I have made known to you. You didn't choose me, but I chose you and appointed you, that you should go and bear fruit, and that your fruit should remain, that whatever you will ask of the Father in my name, he may give it to you. I command these things to you, that you may love one another." If the world hates you, you know that it has hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world, the world would love its own. But because you are not of the world, since I chose you out of the world, therefore the world hates you. Remember the word that I said to you, a servant is not greater than his Lord. If they persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they kept my word, they will keep yours also. But all these things will they do to you for my name's sake, because they don't know him who sent me. If I had not come and spoken to them, they would not have had sin, but now they have no excuse for their sin. He who hates me hates my father also. If I hadn't done among them the works which no one else did, they wouldn't have had sin, but now they have seen and also hated both me and my father. 
But this happened so that the word may be fulfilled which was written in their law. They hated me without a cause. When the Counselor has come, whom I will send to you from the Father, the Spirit of truth who proceeds from the Father, he will testify about me. You will also testify because you have been with me from the beginning. This is the reading of the Word of God for today, Day 15. All praise, glory, and honor be to God the Father and Jesus Christ, His Son, the Savior of the world. Amen.